Hey y'all, it's HCG Housewife Tiffany. Um, today is April the 30th, 2013. And I haven't checked in since um, I was sick and had to stop my round. Well, I really never got back on the round. I tried it and then I just, I never got back on it. So, um, I don't remember what my exact weight loss is. I should have, I should have had my notes for you, but I just decided on the last minute to do this while I'm sitting in my car. Um, anyway, I started back on low carb last Monday and over the week I've lost 6.32 pounds something like you know my scale is kind of weird with that exact number but it's like 6.3 um, pounds for the week and I'm glad because last week was what we call week of the young child at the preschool where I work and we had um, breakfast brought in just about every day and all kinds of treats and you know I didn't overindulge on them but I did have a donut hole and I had some fruit which isn't low carb and and I pick at their snacks. I just, ugh, I got to stop that. Um, like if they have goldfish, I have goldfish. Not as much, but, you know, if they have cheese crackers, I have cheese crackers. Whatever. I still lost 6.32 pounds, and I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do low carb through, through the rest of this week. And then I found a new program that I want to start that's, that's low carb. But you do, is, I'll have to tell you, oh, sorry about that. I'll have to tell you more about that. Um, it's, um, I found it in Woman's Day Weekly. But I think it's called the Overnight Diet or something where you do, for a, for 24 hours, you do shakes. And um, they're high-protein shakes. And then for the rest of the week, you follow a plan, which is very sensible. You have, like, maybe a serving of oatmeal in the morning. Or you can have eggs with a... Um, a higher or a lower glycemic higher lower whichever's the good the good glycemic um number anyway you, a lower higher glycemic um starch and then for lunch you have you know you have sensible things i'll tell you more about it when i have the paper in front of me again i didn't bring my notes but i'm hoping to um you know maybe lose at least three or four pounds this week and that would be that would be great to end the you know, in two weeks with 10 pounds lost. Um, I love doing low carb. I don't feel deprived, especially when I'm picking at the little kid snacks. But um, I don't feel deprived. I feel hungry at the end of the day when it's time for dinner, but that's because I hadn't eaten in like seven hours. So because I work for a little over, well, I work a little over six hours. Sometimes I get home and cook dinner. It's been about seven hours since lunch. Um, but anyway, another um, thing that's going on is we're starting our foster our foster slash adopt classes this Thursday, and they go for a full month, and then we go on with the FBI check, which I, I just had that with the daycare. Um, my husband has to do CPR and first aid. I, I had that, so I don't think I'll have to redo that. Um, they do a home study, and that takes a that takes a while. So hopefully, I mean, we're thinking maybe. We'll have maybe a, hopefully a placement by Christmas after the home study's done. The lady that I work with right now, who's the director of the preschool, says it'll happen faster than that. So, in a way, I'm hoping for that because you know, of course, you want you you want kids. I want, or we want kids in our home soon. But um, I also am not planning on working while we're doing that unless there's some way that I can finagle that. But um, you know, I want to be home with them. That's the whole thing is I wanted, I've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And if it's just a stay-at-home foster mom, the only thing about that though is you never know how long they're going to be in your house and you don't know how long between placements. So it's not like I have a job where I can go temporary, you know, and I still want to save as much money as I can. So when we are able to that point to, to adopt either with a, you know, a foster child who's been relinquished or um, going through the domestic private adoption, I, you know, we need to save money for that, so I need to save as much as I can. But we're hoping to do it through foster care, which won't be so financially, well, it'll, it, it'll be almost free. It, you know, honestly, that's just how it works with the foster care system. You have to pay some legal expenses, and um, you have to pay for your home study, but I believe you get reimbursed for that um, by the state. But anyway, so we're starting that on Thursday, and hopefully... You know, we're excited. We're hoping it goes. You're hoping it goes faster than, than what you know, than what the social workers say. The fo the foster parents that I know always say it goes faster. The social workers give you the worst case scenario. So we'll see what happens with it. And also, uh, da, 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 da. 
I start a new job again. <laughs> I do, da, 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 like um, it's a big announcement. Um, I, I do like the preschool. I enjoy the kids, especially now that I'm in the same room most most of the time. Not all the time, most of the time. But um, I'm going back to work for a company that I worked for back before, right, the one that I got canned from. I don't even know if I've even talked about that. I wasn't really fired. I was laid off, but the lady that was the director there used the wrong terminology. Um, but anyway, I'm starting back with the company that managed the building before the new manager came in. So um, the manager that had moved away found me on Facebook. She got her granddaughter because <laughs> she didn't know how to do it. She said she got her granddaughter to find me on Facebook and asked me um, to come talk to her about a position. And it's kind of like the position I had before. However, it's only the fun part. Like, I don't have to do the administration part, like the budgeting, the staff meetings, the, all that stuff that I didn't like. I get to do all the fun stuff. So I'm excited about that. I'm a little nervous that, because I don't want to step on toes. So I'm a little nervous I'm going to go in and be like, we should do it this way. We should do it that way. So I'm trying real hard not to do that because I was a, I was kind of a passionate activity events director. So um, now I get just have to do the activities and the events and um, don't have to worry about the budget and the staff meetings and all of that stuff. I'm very excited about that. Of course, it is less money than I made before. It's like a, not a lot less, but I forget how much. It's it's pretty significant cut from what I made four years ago. But, you know, I needed the money then. Now it's, well, I, not that, that I don't need it, but now I don't need it to survive. Back then I needed it to survive. So I got to look at it that way. And it's like half the responsibility. So you can't complain about that. And I'm not, I'm very excited that it's more than what the daycare or what the um, preschool is paying me. And it's more hours. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm not going to have to worry about the stooping and bending and stuff that hurts my body. <laughs> but I'm going to miss the kids. I really am. They're they're challenging, but they're, you know, they're two. They're two and three years old. What do you expect from toddlers? You know, toddlers are a challenging age. Um, especially when you throw them all in. I mean, just being there, it makes me think, I do not want my kid to ever have to worry about going to preschool. It's fine, the preschool part, but in the afternoon, it's more like a daycare and I don't want my kid to have to, I want them to go to preschool, but not the daycare part. I don't want them to have to go through the nap time. That's a stressful time. It's so stressful for them because some of them, you know, are not tired, but they have to lay there and be still. And asking a two and a three-year-old, the two-year-olds mostly go to sleep, but asking a three-year-old to lay still for two hours, and then they all have to potty if they don't, if they can't sleep. And you know, most of the time I have to potty within that two hours too. So I understand and I let them go. And, but if you let one go, they all have to go. And it's just, you know, I'm going to miss it. Believe it or not, I am going to miss it. But I'm excited to to go back to what I was doing. Because it's um, more challenging in a mental way than a physical way. <laughs> I'm not up to the physical challenges. So anyway, that's my update. And it's exciting news. I um, don't have much more to say about the, the diet. I just, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm losing again. Um. I did lose with the HCG, but when I got sick, I I didn't stabilize very well. So I didn't gain a lot back, but I did gain some back. And then I didn't I didn't finish the round. Maybe I'll do another round in the summer. I don't know. Maybe I'm done with HCG. Anyway, um, hope everyone has a great day, and I'll check back in soon. Bye bye.